CNC provides very powerful multi-axis manufacturing. In this example, we have a three-axis part mounted to a tooling plate. On the left-hand side of the screen within the main toolbar, we have our roughing and finishing operations. On the right side, you can see I've already applied some of those machining operations to the part. Now within one CNC, you can set your viewports up any way that you'd like, and you can also adjust the boundaries of those viewports as well. This makes working with your parts very, very nice. Let's go back to just a single standard view there. That looks good. Now let's take a look at the innovative dynamic feedback provided by one CNC. Notice that within the dialog box, the actual solid models are portrayed in there and are now dynamically interacting with the clearance planes that we're setting up. This holds true within all of the mill manufacturing provided by one CNC. As an example, here's some pencil milling. We'll go into the dialog box. And again, there's the solid model. Now here's a pocket with a tapered cutaway wall. Now I want to reduce the amount of air cuts, so what I've done is I've created a solid model for my stock, and I've told one CNC to use that stock solid model as a 3D containment boundary. So now my high speed roughing is contained to that 3D boundary, reducing the amount of air cuts. Very, very powerful and versatile. Notice that within simulator we also have compare mode. That white silhouette is the actual silhouette of the original part model. That way you can compare the part with the material that's left over. You can overlay the tool path on top of the simulation. You can make your holders and tools translucent or hidden if you want. Here's another 3D part. Now in this example, again, we've applied some tool path over within the NC manager. Spiral cutting, radial cutting, and so on. And what we're going to do now is go into preview. But notice now, instead of using a fixture plate, we're using a vise. Now there's really no limit on the detail you can put in here. In this example, we have jaws, we have parallels, cap screws, and so on. And all that information is ported right into preview. Of course, you can zoom in and zoom out. You can speed the simulation up, slow it down. It's a very nice and accurate representation of what's taking place out there on the machine tool. There's our auto spin feature. Very, very nice. Now let's take a look at four axis positional machining. This is simply where you index to a side, machine that side, index to another side, machine that side, and so on. Now setting up your fixturing is very simple. Everything that rotates around the fourth axis is on layer four. Every piece of tooling that's stationary, you put on layer three. You can apply two and a half axis tool path to the sides or three axis tool path to those sides as well. Let's go into the NC manager now. We're going to head into preview. That looks good. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, and you can see what we're doing is profiling here. You can see that one CNC accurately displays all the solid model, all the tooling, all the fixturing, and gives you a very nice representation of the four-axis positional machining. Also, you can set all your clearance planes and ensure that all your tools have all the proper clearances for indexes as well. Now let's take a look at four axis wrap machining. This is a little bit different. This is where you've got geometry wrapped around a cylinder. In this example, I have some pockets wrapped around the cylinder, and I also have some holes wrapped around another cylinder there. All right, so what we do is we unwrap that and then machine. Well, we can add our fixturing. Again, everything that rotates around the fourth axis on layer four, everything that's stationary on layer three. All right, so let's take this into preview as well. There we go. So here we're doing some ramp profiling. This is very nice. This is where the tool is ramping around the walls of the pocket and then performing another complete pass at the very bottom. I'm going to slow the simulation down just a little bit. That looks good. So now you see the tool pull up out of the pocket, change tools, and we're going to start to peck drill. One CNC supports can cycles and long-handed CNC code for all of your whole operations. Now let's take a look at four axis simultaneous. This is a little bit different. Let's take a look at this part. This is where you're performing surface machining and your A axis moves at the same time. All right, so what we're going to do is apply tool path that's going to be collinear with the center of index. All right, so the, all the tooling setups exactly the same that we looked at before. I'm going to take this into preview so we can see this. So here you can see the part indexes, and then there's our surface cutting. So we're performing three axis work, and then what one CNC does is index per whatever angle we want. So it's a combination of surface machining and A axis moves. Now I'm cutting collinear with the axis of index, but you can also make that toolpath go around the part or spiral around the part as well. Here's some tombstone work. Here's a part that I've already applied some toolpath to. I'm going to take that part, I'm going to copy it, put it on a different layer, so there's our four copies. And then we can add our fixturing, so here's a tombstone with a couple of 
hydraulic vices. That looks great. Now, even though I just machined one part, I can go into our multiple parts tab, which is right here. I can set up my repeats, and I can easily copy all that toolpath. So I only have to machine one part to get the proper CNC code. This is going to hold through into simulation as well as preview. Very, very powerful, versatile, and accurate. In this example, we're going to take a look at one CNC's powerful 5-axis positional machining. We have a part that has many compound sides and lots of features that need to be machined. So all we're going to do is just index to a side, machine that side, and then index to another side. Now as far as setting up the fixture and tooling, it's very simple. Everything that indexes around the 5th axis goes on layer 5, everything that rotates around the 4th axis, layer 4, and everything that's stationary on layer 3. Now what we do is we create construction planes on each face that we want to index to. And then during manufacture, we simply select that construction plane and that tells one CNC to rotate the part around. So here we see inside a preview a very accurate representation of 5-axis positional machining. Here's some high-speed pocketing. Then we're going to change tools and perform some drilling in the corners there. Of course, we support CAN cycles and also no CAN cycles. If you, don't want, if you want long handed code, we definitely can output that. Here's another index. We're going to quickly machine that pocket, change tools, and then we'll drill that hole. Now let's take a look at 5-axis simultaneous manufacturing. There's lots of different machining operations that one CNC provides for 5-axis simultaneous. In this example, what we'll do is we'll perform some swarf cutting on the outside of the part. And you can see that right at the bottom there, the swarf cutting. Alright, so setting up the tooling again, very simple. You can see here's our chuck. That's going to rotate around the 5th axis, so that's on layer 5. There's part of our trunnion, that's going to rotate around the fourth axis, that's on layer four. And then there's our stationary tooling on layer three. Okay, so let's simulate now the swarf cutting. So we'll go into preview, and here we go. We're going to climb cut around, very accurate representation of the toolpath for five axis simultaneous. Now we're going to change tools. We're just going to use some positional machining now to profile that pocket, and we'll change tools to a drill, and then drill that hole. So one CNC provides very, very powerful multi-axis manufacturing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.